Hey everybody, this is Mark with the Hot Tub Expert Academy. Today I'm going to be here to show you how to properly install an upright cover lifter. Um, I've already taken the liberty of opening it up and double checking to make sure everything is here. As you're putting everything together, make sure that you're putting away trash, keeping a clean site, um, and double checking that we have all the parts and pieces that we need for assembly. So, you should have your two gas shocks, your two side arms, your two side brackets with all the hardware included on the sides, your two angle brackets, and one cover lock. Um, the main bag that it comes with is all the hardware needed for a Utopia and a Hilux uh, series spas. Before installing the cover lifter, make sure that the cover is nice and square on the tub. Go around each corner and make sure that each one is precisely the same as the other one. Otherwise, it won't work properly. So make sure you have the, same, the right tools for everything before we start putting holes in the top. Uh, as a helpful tip, what I do is I separate the two sides of the box and then I separate each piece to make sure each side is where it needs to be. Um, being on top of the cardboard just uh, helps prevent any scratches or damage that we can make happen on the cover. But you know, these are usually on new installs, so we want to make sure that everything is nice and clean and we don't do any damage. Once you have your parts separated and your cover square, what I do is I make sure that uh, the cover is clipped in at that point just to help prevent it from shifting too much while installing. Okay, so most of these screws that we're gonna be using are gonna have uh, a square head to them. So you're gonna need to have a square bit for those also. Uh, number two works just fine. Um, first of all, we're gonna take the side arm and the angle bracket and we're gonna install those. But we don't wanna be doing that on top of the cover because you're gonna be drilling right into it. You don't want it to slip and puncture the cover. So in a safe spot away, not on any concrete or rock or flagstone, you want it to be on another piece of cardboard, um, something out in the field that's going to be a little more secure. But you're going to take your two half inch screws and you're going to drill them into the two top holes on, uh, on the side bracket. The two bottom holes are if it was a smaller tub, so usually jet setters, SXs, things like that. When placing the cover on the spa, make sure that you have the label facing out. This is going to be the front because the back actually has the mounting brackets that we're going to attach the side brackets to. So when feeling for these, we're gonna be mounting to the front bracket, so there's two on here. So one's gonna be in the back, and then just kinda of run your fingers along the side until you feel a stop. That's gonna be the back end of the bracket, and then you can feel out the front end of the bracket. Um, on this one, you're gonna see a line on the cover lifter, so that's one I'm gonna line up with the, uh, the middle of this one. So take a Sharpie and make a small mark closer to the bottom and just make a tiny little dot because that's where it's going to mount up to. The first time doing this, it helps to have a partner, um, but just make sure that you loosen up these screws because it's gonna, this bottom part is going to go up underneath the shell while this is going to sit uh, outside of the shell. So you loosen up this front uh, carriage screw and these two back screws here. And then you can place it alongside, push these guys in, and then line up your line with that notch that you made on the first one. So you're going to bring it on alongside here and then try and make it as level with the cover as possible. So you have your mark and you're going to bring it up, center it, and then I'm just going to go ahead and take my 1 8 inch drill bit and make one hole right in the middle. This is a little harder with one person. And then you're going to take one of your uh, one and a half inch pan head bits it's the, uh, the bulb shape looking one. Kind of tuck it in the side there. And tuck it in. Now you can see that everything is flush on the bottom here and we're still lined up here. Um, from there, you can start making the rest of your drill holes um, on the bottom with your pan heads. And then these are actually gonna be flat head screws and we'll get to that in a second. So the reason you're gonna be using these flat screws on the side bracket is because they're going to sit inside there and they're going to go all the way to the end and sit flush with the inside of it. Uh, because of that, you want to make sure that it's tight enough to where when you slide the sidearm bracket, it doesn't get caught up on any of the screws. So the bracket doesn't always sit low enough, so you want to have it just a little bit above that seam and make sure that it's showing. So take your bit again. I always make one. And I just put that first one in just so that way it sets up for the rest of them and it doesn't move around. So make sure that's nice and tight in there and then do your other three. So 
So particular to this tub, because we're working on a Utopia series, it has this Avante siding. We're gonna need to use a spacer, which can be found inside the equipment area. Um, now, for this one, because it's uh, Utopia, only the cover cradles and the, uh, the uprights can be installed on this. So the cover cradle has a lot more pieces inside here, but the upright only has the two side pieces that we're gonna be using next. All right, so now that you got the sides in um, mounted here, what we're gonna do is mount the swing arm next. So this is what we needed that little spacer for. So inside that package, you're gonna find two of these, one for each side. Um, it's gonna fit, um, it's slanted in one direction. So you're gonna make it line up here and make sure that it's flush and level with the rest of everything else sticking out. So once you line it up and find your sweet spot, then you can drill the bottom hole um, and then mount that piece. Then you're gonna have to undo this screw, swing it over so that way you can do the inside. So now that we have this swing arm installed, you wanna go back and make sure everything is tight. So make sure everything is in place and then tighten up your bolts back up. If it's gonna be in a pretty precarious spot where you don't think you're gonna give it back to them, uh, feel free to put Loctite on there. Um, otherwise, when you're maintaining hot tubs, uh, make sure you keep an eye on these and make sure that they don't come loose. And now we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. Now that we've installed both sides of the brackets, you can flip the front back over. Then we're going to want to put in the side arms. So make sure that whichever side you're putting in, you want it to have um, this on the bottom. So angling it as it is, this side is going to go over here because it's going to come up under this lip. We're going to pop it in right here, have it come up underneath the pad. And if you did it right, then it's going to sit right underneath the zipper. You don't want to have it mounted on the zipper. So that's why we want to keep it lower on the bracket. Then you're going to find your nut and your washer that you're going to want to put right up inside of here. So that's going to be on that same spot I showed you earlier. And you just, before you drill anything in, you want to make sure this is up there and then tighten it up. Then come back over here and place something like the instructions or a piece of cardboard under here so it doesn't have any loose metal going in when you're drilling out this spot. So take your drill. And you're going to put two holes in this. You can see how much debris it's collected. So this is a really important step that you make sure you do that. Then, again, take your half inch uh, pan heads with a washer. go ahead and drive those home. And we're going to repeat that same process for this other side. So. so this next step, a partner really comes in handy, but you can do it by yourself. Make sure that you're unclipped from the back. And then when you're putting these shocks on, you want to make sure that the, the, uh, the thicker part goes on top. That way water doesn't run into the gas shock. So as you have it stood up, you just pop this side in and you bring it back over and adjust it to where you need to pop that side in. Um, this is very important, the way that you set them up to um, the functionality of the lifter. So we're going to go over to the other side and put the lock bar on. So now that we're on the other side, I kind of do this in reverse. So take the thicker side and pop it up. It's very important that you install the lock bar correctly, otherwise uh, it can break uh, not only the bar, or not only the, uh, the lock, but the bar too. So take your lock sleeve first and pop it right up in there. Then you're going to want to adjust this so that way it's right up against the, uh, the ball lock. And then you're gonna have this come up with uh, the half side sticking towards the front of the tub. So then you line that up with your shock and pop that piece right in. That way, this is full functionality of the lock bar. So if you need to bring this back down, Test it before you do anything with it. Before you're done, pick up the sleeve, push it forward, bring it down. And that, everybody, is how you install an upright cover lifter. If you have any questions at all, please contact your service manager. Thank you, guys. You've been lovely.